as we step aside here in this second quarter. Be alert, be alert. 57. Let's go. Watch tight end. Watch tight end. Tight end's right. Tight end's right. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. There's still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. On second down, Kamara trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain there. And now they're looking at a third and 13. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They're going to look to throw. Open man is Michael Thomas. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy on, of midfield. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. That catch, by the way, number 542 in his NFL career, that draws him level with Lance Allworth, who was a Hall of Famer with the Chargers back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, the man they call Bambi. So if you're in that type of territory, catch the same number of passes he caught, you know you're on your way to a big-time career. And just think, he's not through yet. Hey, hey, hey. Four down, four down, four down. Second and 11. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. A sack by Brandon Graham. He's been doing that since he entered the league in 2010. Back to throw here. Gets it to Meredith complete. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for New Orleans. He'll get off a fairly short kick here, as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He gets this one to Johnson. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. And yeah, they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now this will do the job nicely, as that'll be out of bounds Let's just go, inside the 10-yard line. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando, for we now proceed to the start of the second half. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. There we go. Out 
come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try to hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. They go play action here on first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. On second down, Johnson. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Out of the gun now on third down. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Uh, give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag. in the back pocket. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with a quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Big stop, please. Big stop, let's go. On the ground, this is Kamara. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes. Hold it like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll lead here to a third down. Unfortunately for you, you've been around me for a little while now, so you know me as well as anyone and how I look at a game. I don't ever advocate abandoning anything. But in this case, I'm going against my own thought process. You've got to change it up. you got to start throwing it around a little bit, finding ways to try and move the ball because keeping on the ground just isn't working for them. Yeah, maybe get him the ball out yeah. of the passing game, a swing pass right. outside or something, just something to vary it up. Watch tight. Tight is right. Watch tight. Tight is right. Oh. They'll look to throw here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ryan Kerrigan, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the campaign. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. Here's Thomas Morstead now, standing just outside his own goal line. Here's Switzer. Oh, and he's taken down here by his face mask by the looks of it. And a penalty flag is going to give a much better starting position. So that flag will cost him 15. Here we go. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. 
any part of it that's going to be 15 yards. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and 10. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Second and six. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. He'll look to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Now a play fake here on first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Second and 10. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Cameron Jordan in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. They'll look to throw. This will be caught by Brown, and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. That's it, huh? A.J. Brown, his Let's fifth go. touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Elliott on for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. A drive that time of six plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Come on, and baby. welcome back. Let's we go. are in the city of brotherly yeah, love, Philadelphia. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing Let's as go. we begin Let's the fourth quarter of play. It. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And it's second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. That fourth quarter, maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. They'll look to throw. Looking low. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Now remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in.